Sun and the beach, two things that we didn't see a lot of today <laughs> together. There wasn't a lot of sun. In fact, this is Avila Beach. You can see we barely partially broke the clouds here in Avila. Other places like Cambrai didn't see much sunshine at all. You can check out the current status and views all over the Central Coast at 805 webcams. This is Gibraltar Peak. Those of us on the South Coast at least saw a little bit of partial clearing today, but we are going to see more of this low cloud deck. Fog tracker is all over it. You can see it's everywhere from Ventura through Santa Barbara, Gaviota, Goleta into the Vandenberg Lompoc area starting to push through the five cities. The thing is, there's still high pressure overhead. So yeah, it does sneak into the coastal valleys a bit, but the interior valley saw plenty of sunshine today and warmer than average daytime highs. And yes, the king tides will start to arrive later tonight into the morning hours. The peaks will be each morning now through Sunday and could be anywhere from seven to seven plus feet to nearly seven and a half feet. Now the morning tides will occur depending on the day between 730 and 930. So tidal encroachment, meaning that that bulge in the tide is going to really eat into how much real estate there is on the beach and pooling water is likely when we start seeing those king tides recede in the later morning and afternoon hours. What about the numbers? Wow, Grover Beach 64, 62 Lompoc today, just 57 in Goleta. These are high temperatures. 60 in Santa Barbara, 62 in Santa Maria. Yesterday, Santa Maria was 82 degrees. Santinez 73, 67 San Luis Obispo. Again, yesterday, San Luis Obispo set a record high in the upper 80s. Morro Bay 58 turned those numbers around 85 two days ago. Paso Robles 73. Interestingly, that's 10 degrees above average. Not a record, but wow, temperatures kind of all over the place today. Warm in the interior, cool at the coast and the south coast due to the marine influence being at the coast and less so in the interior. But there's also an upper level low feature, which is helping to bring cooler air a little bit inland. Temperatures 18 degrees cooler than this time yesterday at Santianez and basically cooler everywhere. Let's take a look at the winds. It's not a wind driven event. In fact, the lighter winds means we can't mix out that marine cloud deck. Drought monitor. This is the day we do the weekly update. I'll do lakes tonight at 10 and 11 o'clock, but no change. 100% of the state is in drought. We're still in extreme drought in the San Joaquin Valley in exceptional drought. Where is the storm path? It's to the north. Is there much hope of a pattern change? Yes, on the pattern change, but in terms of how much rain it'll produce, not too bullish, and here's why. There's a system racing our direction later Monday into Tuesday, but does kind of look to fall apart on arrival. It's called an inside slider, probably more of a wind maker than a rain maker. And then as we get into Thursday, this model likes a system pushing through the central coast in Southern California, but most models don't. Most models don't have the system moving in, so that's a low confidence event. And then after that, we're just gonna have to see what develops because this is the speculative part of the model, but at least the door is open to systems at least being able to get here. That big ridge of high pressure we've seen doesn't allow that. Okay, partly cloudy, more patchy low clouds and fog with locally low visibilities. Again, no advisories right now, but we're watching that. Mid 60s to upper 60s for coastal valleys. The beaches will be cooler. The interior still above average, interestingly, but Cambria, Cayucas, Morro Bay, all about 60 degrees. Avila Beach, 64. Pismo Beach 61, AG 61, Napomo 64, but again, the interior warm, 74 at California Valley. Cuyama 73, 71 Santinez, 69 Los Alamos, and again, the South Coast also struggling with clouds and low 60s for highs. Not a whole lot of change into next week. Again, Tuesday, that system, I'm not going with rainfall for that, but probably breezy. And Thursday right now, I'm not going with rain, but that's something that I would change my mind about if models start getting a little more excited. Back to you.